Today we are talking about the Rogue LP2 lap pull down. I'm gonna give you 10 exercises that you can do on the pull down, and if you see at the end of the video, the last three are gonna be awesome supersets that you can do on the LP2 lap pull. So we're gonna hop right into the first exercise, and this list is not just gonna be simple lap pull down, low row. I'm gonna give you exercises like that, but I'm gonna give you different variations and different ideas that you can implement to your program and that you can do on the LP lap pull down. So, Starting off with exercise number one is going to flip a normal pull down on its head. And this is going to be the double arm pull down with a single arm eccentric. This is a great one that you can do. That's going to help you overload your lats. It's going to help you train each lat unilaterally. It's going to help you build more muscle, build more strength and make more progress on the pull down. Also wanted to announce that Fit Grand Apparel we're doing a 30% off end of the summer sale. So if you're interested in checking out my fitness apparel line, Go to fitgroundapparel.com, I'll leave the link in the description. You can get 30% off our entire store, site-wide, 30% this week only. If you're interested, go check it out. The second exercise is building on top of this and it's doing the same thing, but on the low row, we're gonna do a double arm row with a single arm eccentric. Again, we're taking advantage of being able to overload, eccentrically overload our muscles by using both arms on the concentric and then single arm on that eccentric Make sure that you keep both of these heavy, that you challenge up the weights, obviously keep your form, but this is a great way that you can overload your muscles, work each arm independently and unilaterally, and make a lot of strength and muscle progress. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure that you smash that subscribe button. I post weekly content on functional fitness, functional bodybuilding, as well as gym equipment reviews. And if you haven't already done so, please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. Exercise three, we're gonna go to the lower body, and Full disclosure, the lat pull down comes with a straight bar and that's neutral grip pull down. So in order to do this one, you're going to need to buy a ankle cuff, but exercise three is going to be a lying leg curl, single leg lying leg curl on the pull down. This is a great one that you can target your posterior chain and your hamstrings unilaterally, working those hamstrings. This is predominantly an upper body machine, but yes, you can use it for some lower body exercise. Exercise four is another one for the legs, and this is a great one that you can do with that new grip handle. This is the goblet squat. Now this is a really good one. That cable works really well to provide some resistance vertically. Holding that cable, keep it nice and close. Almost imagine like it's a dumbbell. And this is one that works really well for the legs. And that's the perfect example of, this is primarily looked at as an upper body machine, but you can adapt this to be able to work the lower body. We did a single leg leg curl, now we're doing a squat. So it's not just an upper body machine, you can use it for some lower body exercises as well. Exercise number five, back to the upper body, and we're gonna isolate the biceps on this one. This is the lying bicep curl. This is one that really keeps your biceps really strict, laying down on the ground, pin your elbows in. You're gonna have to keep that weight light, so that stack is 300 pounds. So just realize that with that isolation bicep curl, especially laying down on the ground, keep it light. Challenge yourself with weights, but you're gonna to need to keep a little bit on the lighter side and really focus on just using your biceps to move that weight. Exercise number six is going to be a double arm push down with a single arm eccentric. So just like we talked about earlier, you can attach a single arm handle or a rope to the high pulley. You can push down with both arms, let go with one hand, you're holding on with one hand, and you can do a single arm eccentric on the way back up. And this is a great way that you can overload your triceps that you can just add a different stimulus to your tricep workouts if you're already doing tricep pushdowns and all sorts of regular tricep exercises. This is a great one that you can work each arm unilaterally, but overload your muscles, which is gonna help you build strength and muscle. Exercise number seven, we're gonna work the core. This is gonna be a wood chop. Now I'd recommend that you use the low pulley cable for this. It's gonna be pretty drastic of an angle working high to low. Attach a single handle to that bottom cable, and you can use that as a fully functional cable doing wood chops. You're gonna be able to work the core, work the obliques. This is a great one for your rotational strength um, that you can, yes, work your upper body, work your lower body. And now I'm showing you that you can even work your core on the lap pull down. So it's not just an upper body machine. All right, so as I promised, the last three are gonna be supersets that you can do. So number eight, two-parter superset is gonna be what I call sweet 16s. So this is where you're gonna start off with a challenging weight for eight reps on an overhand lap pull down. You're gonna shake it out. It's gonna be about failure for eight reps. You're gonna flip your grip to a reverse grip and you're gonna go right back into that set for another eight reps. You get 16 total reps. This is taking advantage of being able to pull down more weight with an underhand grip than you can on overhand. So you're gonna fry yourself out for eight on the overhand, shake it out, take five seconds, take a breath, right back to that reverse grip, reverse grip pull downs for eight. 
This is an awesome way that you can really push past failure and really just fry out your lats. Number nine is another superset. This one's for the shoulder. So two exercises back to back. You're gonna start off with a seated face pull on that low cable. You're gonna focus on pulling high using your shoulders, keeping your shoulders out of the ears, nice and relaxed using your shoulders. Once you get 10 reps there, you're gonna lay down completely and you're gonna go into 10 lying upright rows. This is a great way that you can really fry out those shoulders. You're gonna take advantage that you're not gonna be able to face pull as much as you can upright row. So that face pull is gonna pre-exhaust your shoulders. By the time you get to that upright row, it's gonna be smoked out, but you're gonna be able to push a little bit past failure and crank out 10 more reps for your shoulder. Exercise number 10, the superset. This is the classic lat pull down, straight arm lat pull down. So you can use that cable on top for just regular lat pull downs of all sorts of different grips. Then you can superset it with a straight arm lat pull down. You might have to adjust the handles that you're using real quick in between the superset, but this is the classic superset of really just frying out your lats. You're gonna isolate your lats on a pull down. You're gonna isolate your lats on a straight arm pull down. This is an awesome superset that you can do that's really gonna fry your lats, build a lot of muscle, help you push past any plateaus. This is a great one to finish off your workout. This is a great one that you can really use on your back day to really fry out your lats and finish off your workout. And if you're interested, go check out those other videos. Like I said, there's two other reviews on the LP2 lat pull down. So if you're interested in buying this piece or just interested in that video, like I said, go find it on my channel or I will leave the link in the description. But this has been the 10 exercises that you can do on the Rogue LP2 lat pull down. I love this machine, it's awesome. I personally love it. We have a lot of clients that love it. It's a great quality piece. I would highly recommend this piece. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I post weekly content on functional fitness, functional bodybuilding, as well as gym equipment reviews. 